Oh yeah, there's a difference in sound for sure. So, can you hear the difference between these two golf balls? Sound is a very important piece to feel when you are testing golf balls out. Today we are going to be testing the Callaway Chrome Soft X versus the Callaway Chrome Soft. In 2020, I played the Callaway Chrome Soft X golf ball, but it, I'm very intrigued by testing the differences between the Chrome Soft and the Chrome Soft X. So for today's test, I'm going to hit some wedge shots to really test the feel differences. I'm also going to pay attention to the spin rate numbers as well. I'm also going to hit some shots with the 7 iron and also the driver. I'm interested to see if there's any differences in ball speed or any differences in workability. Now keep in mind, this is an inside test. A perfect test would be able to, be able to do some shots outside on the golf course and really feel and see the spin differences. But we can test the spin rate on TrackMan, which is a nice thing where we can compare the two different numbers and see if there's any major differences. Let's hit some shots with the Callaway Chrome Soft X and Chrome Soft Golf Balls and see if we notice any differences. So first I'm going to start out by hitting some three quarter wedge shots with my 56 degree wedge. This is going to focus a lot on the feel differences between the two wedges, but I'm also going to pay attention to see if there's any differences in the spin as well. So I just hit seven shots with the Chrome Soft. I must say it did feel incredibly soft off the club face at impact. I mentioned that I've played the Chrome Soft X the last year. I feel like, and we're about to test this, but I feel like Chrome Soft just feels a little bit softer, especially with your wedge game around the green. I'm going to compare the differences there coming on up, but we'll take a look at the numbers really quickly. I was hitting the ball a little bit over 90 yards on carry distance when spinning it around about 85-54 on average. So I'm going to try and hit about the same distance and we'll see if that spin rate is very, very accurate with the Chrome Soft X as well. Or we might notice some differences as well. So let's hit, let's hit the Chrome Soft X. Oh yeah, there's a difference in sound for sure. So, and a lot of times I mention in fittings that sound is feel. The first thing I noticed was the Chrome Soft X did sound just a little bit louder off the club face. Not only did it sound a little bit louder, but it felt like it was just a little bit hotter off the face. So let's take a look at the numbers and see if there's any differences. Now keep in mind, this is a wedge shot. We're trying to hit the ball the same distance. So I tried to hit the ball the exact same distance for all the shots here. But Kind of interesting to see that the ball speed was, I mean, pretty much the same with both balls, but you'll notice the Chrome Soft X, just slightly less ball speed by 0.3. Um, so the efficiency rating was just ever so slightly lower. Uh, it's kind of interesting how the ball launched a little bit lower, but did spin a little bit higher with the Chrome Soft X. While the Chrome Soft did launch just a tad higher and spin a little bit lower. So that's kind of the only thing I could notice. Now we're talking yeah, close to three to 400 RPM. So it is noticeable considering I was only hitting the ball at 90 yards. But I think the most important takeaway from hitting a shot from 90 yards is the feel piece. So what I noticed was the Chrome Soft just felt like it was just a little bit too soft to me off the club face for maybe a higher swing speed player. I like the feel of knowing that, that a ball was going to do the same thing every single time. And I just, it just felt like it was just really good off the club face. Now, it was noticeable that the ball just felt just a tad softer with the Chrome Soft than the Chrome Soft X. And I believe the ball is designed to have the softest feeling, while the Chrome Soft X is designed to have a soft feeling. So both designed to have feel pretty soft off the club face just a little bit firmer with the Chrome Soft X. So next up with this test will be full shots with an iron. I've got my seven iron here. I'm gonna hit several shots with the Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X. And then we'll take a look at the number differences. Okay, so just tested the seven iron, hit eight shots with both golf balls. Really kind of interesting, and this really reaffirms the golf ball that I've been playing is the correct golf ball, 
even without even testing driver yet. But you can kind of notice that the club speed, once again, very, very similar with the seven irons. The ball speed was just a little bit faster with the Chrome Soft X than the Chrome Soft. Um, what's really kind of interesting is I got about 500 RPMs more spin with the Chrome Soft X than the Chrome Soft. So I mentioned this really reaffirms what golf ball I should be playing. I'm glad I'm using the Chrome Soft X because I don't really spin the ball that much with a seven iron. Any extra spin that I can get is gonna help me with regards to stopping power, which is important. And 500 RPMs more spin is exceptionally good. So we notice that a little bit more ball speed, but the ball is spinning just a little bit more. Now this is probably gonna be typical for your higher swing speed golfer. The reason why the Chrome Soft Golf Ball would be a better option for players with a little bit less speed is that little bit less spin is gonna help them to hit the ball a little bit further. So I know there's been a debate that soft is slow. We'll notice that the Chrome Soft is just a little bit slower with the, compared to the X, but it's not slow. I mean, we look at the efficiency numbers, I'm still getting very, very good ball speed numbers. We notice the smash factor number still very, very good for a seven iron. We just notice that the X is just a little bit faster, just a little bit faster overall compared to the Chrome Soft. If we look at the, the right side, we can kind of see the dispersion pattern. It's kind of interesting showing the total distance there. So you can see how the ball was rolling out just a little bit further with the purple circles. So you can see they were going a little bit further. But if we look at the Chrome Soft X, notice how tight all those circles are together. Now they're all very, very tight together, but I like how all those blue circles numbers were gonna go on the same distance every single time. We'll notice the Chrome Soft was just releasing out just a little bit further. And that's just showcasing the little bit less spin you get with the Chrome Soft versus the Chrome Soft X. And finally, we'll test driver. So I'm interested with this because I know that any extra ball speed you can generate will cause the ball to go a little further. But I don't want the ball to spin more with my driver. I actually want it to spin a little less. So I'm interested to see if we're gonna see the same trend with the Chrome Soft X spinning more all the way through, or maybe you see if it flip flops or see if they get come a little closer together. So let's test driver. Just hit eight drivers with the Chrome Soft Golf Ball. Got me thinking, am I leaving just a little bit on the table with the Chrome Soft? So I'm interested to see if the Chrome Soft X is gonna go a little bit further by obtaining a little bit more ball speed. The reason I bring that up, I'm looking at the smash factor number. So we're seeing 1.47 and the ball speed at 163.6. So my goal here is to try and swing a pretty similar club speed, just a little bit over 111 miles an hour but I'm gonna be interested to see if that ball speed number goes up and if that efficiency number goes up just a little bit. If that's the case, that will mean that the Chrome Soft Golf Ball is a little bit slower than the Chrome Soft X Golf Ball with regards to ball speed for a higher speed golfer. Well, I'm very happy to find out that the Chrome Soft X is actually a faster golf ball for a faster swing speed golfer. If you take a look at the efficiency numbers, so you can see that smash factor, 1.49 to 1.50 every single time. My average smash factor with the Chrome Soft golf ball was 147. So that's telling me that I wasn't quite getting as much ball speed with the Chrome Soft versus the Chrome Soft X. On average, my ball speed was 166.5 with the Chrome Soft X, and it was around about 163 with the Chrome Soft. So let's take a look at the numbers and compare them all. And as I mentioned, the Chrome Soft X Golf Ball was just a little faster, even though my club speed was about the same. So we noticed 111.1, 111.5 with the eight shots that I hit with each golf ball, but we obtained three miles an hour more ball speed. So naturally the smash factor number, 149 versus 147. It's kind of interesting how the ball did spin just a little bit less than the Chrome Soft. The Chrome Soft X was 1942. The Chrome Soft was 2075. I mean, 
when it comes to spin, those spin numbers are pretty darn good with regards to a golf ball, especially for a player that's got high swing speed there. Um, carry distance was a little bit further, and total distance was even further yet. Total distance was seven yards further with the Chrome Soft X than the Chrome Soft. It's also kind of interesting if you look at the height. The Chrome Soft X flew about 10 feet lower than the Chrome Soft did. So we'll notice the Chrome Soft was 118 feet in the air, where the Chrome Soft X was 108 feet in the air. It's also kind of interesting how I hit the Chrome Soft X just a little bit tighter with the driver. You can definitely see it was going a little bit further up the screen, but you can notice the dispersion pattern was just kind of a touch tighter there as well. But in general sense, that's more the player than the golf ball doing, doing, this, doing this job. But you can see general trends going pretty similar kind of distances, but you'll kind of notice with the, we, see, we saw with the seven iron that the Chrome Soft golf ball was releasing out a little bit more because it had a little less spin. So that's the purple circle versus the blue circle. And then you'll notice with the Chrome Soft X with the driver just going a little further. So that's the green circle versus the orange circle. That was the Chrome Soft. So kind of interesting how it kind of flip flops become, come driver time. A little bit less spin with the Chrome Soft X with driver. A little bit more spin with the seven iron and the wedges as well. So in conclusion, the Chrome Soft X Golf Ball, I would recommend for a player that's got a little bit faster club speed. If you're a player that has a little bit less club speed, the Chrome Soft Golf Ball for sure is a very, very good option. It's got an exceptionally good feel. When we noticed that, could definitely notice it felt a little bit softer off the face, especially with the wedge shots that I hit there as well. So this is based off a player that has a lot of speed. If you're a player that doesn't have quite as much speed, What's going to happen is you're, as a golfer, you're going to fit into a golf ball that has a different compression, and it's also going to perform just as well across the board there for you as well. So I would recommend the Chrome Soft Golf Ball for a player of a little bit slower swing speed that likes that exceptionally good feel that you get out of the Chrome Soft and Chrome Soft X. I'd recommend the Chrome Soft X for a little bit faster club speed, someone that likes a little bit firmer feel but maybe get a little bit more out of it when they hit the ball a long way as well. So, so this video really confirms that I am playing the right golf ball. As I mentioned, I've been playing the Chrome Soft X for the last year, and I'm glad I chose the X over the Chrome Soft. So getting fit for the right golf ball definitely makes a difference. It's important to get fit, and we do offer that complimentary with our iron fittings, our driver fittings, our full, big, uh, full bag fittings at second swing as well. Just ask your club fitter what golf ball that I should be playing, and we will definitely be able to recommend a golf ball that's going to work very well for you. Before I leave, I do ask, make sure you subscribe to our channel again. Thanks for watching today.